don't fear what's coming. All praises, honor, glory goes to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rachak, Wadash. Double honors to the apostles, elder bishop, the great millstone who roll well. Peace and blessings to you fellow brothers pushing his word in truth and sincerity. Shabbat brother Chanak. Coming back with another lesson through the spirit and power. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rachak, Wadash. And this is a, a, a quick little lesson, um, just kind of meditating on, you know, the end and the things that are, you know, actually taking place right now, how hot things are and how close we are to our salvation. Okay, the hopeful elect, as well as the destruction of the wicked. Okay, the total collapse of Babylon the Great, the total collapse of all these societies and the implementation of the MOTB to be pushed very hard in these days. Okay, men merging with machine, the fourth industrial revolution, which Esau's been planning for a very long time. And now we're at that time. Uh, it speaks about the Habakkuk, the second chapter, how in the end it shall speak and not lie. So it's speaking now, and it's speaking louder than than uh, ever. And um, there's a lot of, lot, of, lot of wars and rumors of wars, a lot of things that, you know, could happen. Uh, a lot of things that are uncertain in these people's eyes and uh, understanding the judgment that's getting ready to come, how these people are getting ready to react. They're, they're getting ready to react, you know, in a, uh, in, a, in a whole new fashion. You see how people, you know, bugged out, you know, when um, uh, Trump got, you know, elected. You know, you see how people bugged the hell out. You see how people bugged out during... This, the, the C-19 and shit. And bear with me, I'm driving. This is an in-transit. Just give me a second. You see, how, you see how many people bugged out um, in these different events? And people just bugging the hell out now and acting completely and utterly mad. Right? Uh, Matthew 24, I believe it's 12. Because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. That word cold is psychos. And, I, and as I was meditating upon this, you know, the, 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 the word or the phrase fear not kept popping into my head. A couple of scriptures came to me, uh, but fear not came into my mind because we, we as commanded in the scriptures, in the spirit of Yah Bashem Shai, right, he, he has not given us the spirit of fear. Now, we are to fear him and what the power that he has and the majesty that he has and to fear his law, statute, commandments, and his ways, and, you know, the different, the, the do's and don'ts that the Lord told us to do and what not to do, how to behave ourselves, how to move in wisdom, but we are not to fear our man, we are not to fear what man is getting ready to bring on the earth through Esau, Edom, neither uh, any of these people here in whatever region we are that's going to be completely acting, you know, out of their mind, the nations were, were mad, okay, the nations are angry, you know, they're, they're in a drunken rage. So you're going to have a lot of people drunk off Babylon the Great, um, bugged out on the collapse and, and the, the terror that the Most High is getting ready to bring. They're about to act a complete fool. Okay, war, you know, um, the famine, we're going to experience famine. We're going to experience, you know, uh, civil war. We might not be in the heart of it, but there there are brothers and few sisters and sisters that are going to be in, in the heart of it. Whatever the, whatever situation the, the Most High might put you through, whatever your your walk is, certain uh, certain individuals are gonna be uh, pilgrims, certain individuals are gonna be thrown into detention centers, certain individuals are gonna be beheaded. Okay, certain it's just it's gonna be miracles. You're gonna be getting chased after. There's gonna be a lot of different things. All right, and um, we've been pretty much being getting spiritual prepped to you know be able to withstand we stand these things let me get um what i want to do here is what i did as i was just kind of meditating on that phrase fear not i typed it in the blue letter and it says fear not occurs in 144 verses in the kjv see that the 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 word the words fear not okay occurs in 144 verses in the kjv so i thought that was spiritual right got it you know that's fear. Now, and not everyone is speaking about 
not fearing the things that are coming. But nevertheless, that those two words, if you put that in the blue letter, okay, it should it should say you can, you can you can uh, check it. It should say that it occurs 144 verses in the KJV, not including the uh, pocket, but, but just the KJV. Okay, and I, as I was kind of scrolling through um, these scriptures, I mean, there's so many. I, we, we'll be here till tomorrow, bringing out the scriptures, and it's not a, a, a long lesson. I just want to kind of hit the point. But when you read in a lot of these, in, in some of these verses, not all of them, but some of these verses, uh, the Lord is telling certain men, men that He's dealing with not to fear. Don't fear. Don't fear this. Don't fear that. Don't fear these nations. Don't. L l and let me bring this out. And um, actually, let me get you an example. In Deuteronomy, okay, just bear with me. I think that was that Deuteronomy three, right? I mean, it's so, it's so, yeah, it's all throughout. Yep. Give me a second. Bear with me. Bear with me. Three. All right. And we, and also, also, don't get caught up in the stress. The, you know the Bab the Babylonian the financial the you know the, the stress of Babylon the great fo focus in on Yahweh and serving him okay Deuteronomy three and I'm probably gonna jump okay it says and the Lord said unto me fear him not for I will deliver him and his people and 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 his land into the into thy hand right because we are we are coming out of Egypt and we're going into these different nations, you know, uh, taking them down. And these were already established nations, okay, that had military, that had, you know, weaponry, that had a, a force. And it was, you know, we we're just like some ragtag individuals that just came out of slavery, okay? So the Lord's saying, don't fear, I'm going to deliver him into your hands, okay? And that's going to be reminiscent of these times. Not like we're actually going in a battle with Esau, Edom, and his troops. Yet the Lord um, pretty much gives us uh, gives us victory, really, in Yahweh Shai. He gives us a, a way out through faith. Now the battle is fate. We're gonna overcome. We're gonna overcome uh, the the devil, the beast, right? His image, his uh, his mark, the number of his name by what? The blood of the Lamb. Okay, Yahweh Shai, who the, the world ignorant calls Christ. And through our testimony, okay, which is the 100% truth, okay? And within the 100% truth, we have been given victory. We have been we have been told not to fear none of these things, okay? And we're going to get a couple of scriptures. We're, we're reading it, but we're going to get some more scriptures. Fear him not, for I will deliver him and all his people, see? And his land into thy hand, and thou shalt do unto him as thou didst unto Sihon, king of Amorites, which dwelt in Heshbon, so that was just another uh, example of the Lord, you know, you know, encouraging, encouraging his his, um, his men at that time. Okay, I believe he's speaking of Joshua. Give me a second, or uh, or maybe Moses. Okay, but let me um, actually let me let me jump down a verse. I'm gonna read up a little bit. But I want to jump down. It's kind of going to the same thing. Okay, yep. And 21. And I and I and I commanded Joshua at that time, saying, Thy eyes have seen all that the Lord thy God has done unto the, unto the two kings. So shall the Lord do unto all the kingdoms whither thou passest. Because ultimately, what's going to happen? All these nations are going to be brought brought down to our feet and, and it's not going to be by our might as we're going to continue to read it's not going to be by our, our might but the lord is going to use okay his elect he's going to uh, use the creature for its weapon right it says ye shall not fear them see so even back then we've been given a commandment not to fear okay uh these different nations or what these different nations can do unto us and, and they're getting ready to, especially Esau, okay, they're getting ready to, you know, go mad. But these other nations, they're going to actually shoot missiles on America. They don't care about you so-called black, Hispanic, Native Americans that you're in the crossfire. Okay, the most I put a, a, a heavy spirit on them to destroy, right? Uh, Joel, the third chapter, 
uh, wake up the mighty men. Okay, so they, they don't care. Well, it, it goes into that in Isaiah, the, the 13th chapter, how the Medes, okay, which are the, the, the Russians, okay, the modern day Russians now. The Russians are in that land. The Medes have been pushed out of that land, which are the Japhetic uh, nations, okay. The, Ru the Russians, they, they, they don't, they're not going to regard you know, the, the old and the young. They're not, they're going to, uh, uh, they're not going to rec regard silver or gold. There's going to be a heavy spirit on them to destroy America. And they know that you so-called black man, Native, Native Americans are here. Okay. Neither do they, neither do they um, respect the prophets as well. See. The Lord is going to deliver the prophets and the elect out of this, out of this time of great evil. You shall not fear them for the Lord thy God. For the Lord thy God, Yah Basham al Shai, he shall fight for you. I found it inter interesting. He shall fight for you. So in this time, the Lord, he's going he's gonna to fight for us. There's another scripture. Let me get that um, in the Apocrypha. Bear with me, bear with me. Okay. Just give me a second. I'm going to get that in the pocket for you. This is, uh, I'm going to go right to the point. Ecclesiasticus 4 and 28. And it reads, it says, Strive for the truth unto death, and the Lord shall fight for thee. See? And how do we strive unto the truth for uh, uh, How do we strive for the truth unto death? Well, the Lord gave us certain commandments. When the, when the MOTB come out, okay, don't take the MOTB under no under no circumstances. If you if you know Esau comes and grabs your family up, if he threatens you with death, you take death. Okay, if there's no food and and, and there's pork or shrimp or horse meat, or you got to take the MOTB to get your rations, or or to get your your you know your 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 what are your, your tokens? What do they call them? The digital money. The digital money to go to the grocery store, you don't take it. You deal with it. Okay? Whatever whatever is laid in front of you, whatever trial the most high has for you, because look, it's not it's not a um it's not a physical battle. Back then back then it was a physical battle and the most high manifested himself, you know, by you know, giving Jake power by setting enemies up in, in particular situations so we can conquer them. Right? But it's going but it's not gonna be by our might. You see what I'm saying? It's not this thing is not about might. This thing is going to be a spiritual thing. Now the Lord is going to manifest Himself um, physically uh, through through certain prophet prophets through certain believers. Okay, spirit spiritual power, absolutely. Uh, miracles, absolutely. Yet that's not going to be salvation. Okay, you you by you you know the Lord is going to have to actually deliver you. What I mean, the Lord is going to actually have to deliver you out of Babylon. Okay, we're going to still be subject, hey, we, hey, the Lord can give you the power, then, hey, you can become a martyr. Did, did that not happen to the apostles, the different disciples, the different prophets, the Most High, he showed power within them? Remember Samson. Okay, remember, uh, well, Yahweh Shai, he had his, he had his sacrifice, he had his cup that he had to drink, and, and he did more miracles than, than, uh, than, that can be, that then can be contained in all the books in the earth. Okay, that's how. how and what, what did the, the scripture say that we going we gonna do greater things than him? So that's crazy. Okay, but it's the Lord actually fighting for us. So again, don't fear these things that are coming. Okay, don't fear the wars. The scriptures tell us not to fear the war. We can we can go into that. I mean, so many scriptures. <laughs> Let me go back. That, that's the point I think I wanted out of here. Let me read it again. Ye, this is Deuteronomy 3 and 22. Ye shall not fear them, for the Lord your God, he shall fight for you. See? So the Lord's going to fight for us in this time because we have, let me go to Revelation. But there's another scripture I want to, but let me go to Revelation. I always go here. Okay. Let me, yep. Give me a second. Right. Revelation.
Revelation 2 and 10, fear none. Okay, or fear not. Okay, fear none, which is negative, not is negative. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. See? Don't fear none of this, none of this BS that's getting ready to come our way. Man, we gotta be, we gotta stand tall. We gotta, we gotta uh, uh, show forth faith in these times. Okay, and, and even like, you know, Building, building up, uh, you know, uh, weaker individuals in the faith. The scriptures talk about how the, the, the strong shall support the weak. You know, uh, we're, we're here to exhort, to, to, you know, uh, uh, spread the spirit of Yahweh, you know, cast out that net, and in, in, in hopes that the elect come in, which the elect are going to come in. There, there's nothing that can stop. There's nothing that can stop this unstoppable force. Okay. The spirit of Yah Basham al the spirit of prophecy. Okay? And these these individuals, they're bugging the hell out. Russia's getting ready. Uh, you know, it's pretty much, it's probably going to be like a false flag. Some type of big event before the inauguration. We'll see We'll see how the spirit moves. But we're, we're on our toes. We're vigilant. Okay, shit's getting ready to go down and people get ready to bug the fuck out. Okay? And I was explaining to uh, another individual, you know, weaker in the faith, you know, like, you know, uh, pretty much a woman, you know, and uh, an older, elderly, uh, older woman. She got a beautiful spirit, but, um, you know, she's seeing these different things. Oh, man, you know, kind of kind of like, you know, that that spirit of fear. I was like, nah, we I said, man, I'm excited. And she's like, oh, OK, yeah, yeah we supposed to be excited. OK, OK. Yeah, you're right. It's, I was like, it's prophecy. Yeah, you're right. It's prophecy. You right? You see what I'm saying? Because the, what what the elect is going to be a light unto the world. All right, there's going the, the scriptures talk about how the, the Lord is going to make a man more precious than fine gold. Okay, he uh, a man shall be a hiding place from the from the wind. <laughs> let me get that. Hold on, let me get that man. Let me get that. Is, the Lord about to fuck this place up. Give me a second. Come on, man. Yep. I, it, 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 man, hey, look, man, y'all about Shemal Shai is getting ready to fuck this place up, okay? And the Lord is getting ready to, to pretty much turn up. He's getting ready to bring all his words to pass, okay? And us believers, we supposed to have a different spirit on us than these people in in, in this world. When when it, when, a, when the alert goes off, a, a nuclear missile was shot off, or stock market is crashing, this is da 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 da, you know, the supply chains are breaking down. You know, uh, this this is happening. That's it. Look, people people gonna go mad, man. They gonna go mad, and we we are supposed to be in a. The Lord's gonna have us in a different spirit. What what does the scripture say in Job the fifth chapter? At destruction and famine, thou shalt laugh. All right, because our confidence, which means with faith, confidencia. Stop me if I pronounce that wrong. Okay, our confidence is is supposed to be in the Al Bashim Al Shai and in his words and what he has told us, and all these things that are that are coming. We we have been given we've been we have been given that the the eyesight the, the eyesight to see it. So how can we not believe it, right? Isaiah thirty two and two, and then we go back to Revelation two. And a man shall be as a hiding place from the wind. See what man? A, 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 a one of these uh, high value men, right? These men that have been you know building up their value you know throughout the years and and putting in the hard work, right? Kevin Samuels told you to work like eighty hours a week, some shit like that. You know, uh, he, he uh, uh, you got, you got to wear a suit. This is, you got a, uh, what do they call it? Uh, something, uh, there's a something wardrobe where it's like, you get like a 10 pair of pants or three pair of pants, five shirts, two shoes, and you can mix it, mix and match something like that. You got to get your skincare routine. You know, you got, you got to go to college. You got to get that degree. You, you're planning for the future. Now nah, we we do certain things absolutely. We don't just you know just live off baby mamas and shit and you know now nah, we get jobs. If you if you if you're a man in this truth, you should have a job. You got you must have a job. Okay, unless there's like certain situations, you know, individual retired or it's certain situations, certain things, right? But you you should you should have a job. You should work. Okay, but we we do all those things. But see, our mind is not set on those things. Cause our mind is set on getting the fuck up out of here. Okay, and the scriptures say that our salvation is nearer than when we believed. And a man shall be as a hiding place from the wind and a covert from the tempest. 
as rivers of water in a dry place, as the shadow of a rock in a weary land. So the Lord is going to, you know, draw in certain individuals to you. Well, Isaiah, Isaiah 4 and 1. Okay. Or what does the scripture say? Thy people shall be willing in the day of thy power. Okay. That, which means what? The power is coming. Okay. But let's go back to Revelation 2. Let's read that again. Revelation 2 and 10. Fear not, I'm sorry, fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that ye may be tried. So this is the reason why he's going to come and hem us up. And however the situation, you know, manifests itself, that, that is the reason why, okay, you, you're being tried. To see if you're going to fold, to see if you're going to consent. Second Ezra, the 16th chapter. Okay, he shall take some of you uh, 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 idle. I, I'm not. Let me let me read. Let me read it. Let me just read. I'm just gonna go to the point. I'm not gonna read the whole thing. Right. Feed you idle, being offered a thing unto idols. Give me a second. Right. Second Ezra 16 and 68. And it's the precept, really. For behold, the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you. This is the devil. That's the devil. Esau, Edom. Who has? Who has? Who has a multitude? Who can send a multitude? Of soldiers any anywhere in the world who can who can blame a group of people and send special forces send missiles send the UN okay send mercenaries can Jake do that huh take your time I'm listening that burning rabbit is Esau Edom because he's getting ready to come down with great wrath okay it, it talks about that revelation the 12th chapter we're we're in that time. You see what Trump is saying, what he's gonna do. He's coming he's coming with the, those drac those draconian measures. He came in on making America great again, right? And then he came in with some draconian measures, what he's gonna implement. And then Biden they it, it's a big it's a really a big show. It's all orchestrated, it's all planned out by the, the, the dark hand, Esau Edom. Okay. But let me continue. For a burnt for the burnt for behold, the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you, and they shall take away certain of you, see, the devil shall cast you into prison, and feed you being idle, because everything's going to be shut down, with things offered unto the idols, and that, and that MOTB is pretty much a thing offered unto idol, that, that whole digital, uh, that digital system, the, what's it called, um, the artificial intelligence, the fourth industrial revolution, that's pretty much an idol speaking, okay, and you and that thing is you gonna be tapped into the system. You're gonna be part you're gonna be part. Th th that God is gonna take control of you. And that's essentially what it is. Esau wanting to take control of you, to control of your spirit. Okay? And the elect is going to what? They're gonna resist that. They're gonna say no. They're gonna uh, 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 uh unto death. Cause the scriptures say how your works is gonna follow you. But there's a certain spirit that we're supposed to be in. And the scriptures tell us not to fear. Why? The Lord's going to fight for us. Okay, even Isaiah 59 and, and uh, 19. Let me go, um, let me go to, I, I want to go to Isaiah. Okay. Yep, Isaiah 40. Again, that word fear not, when you type it in, <laughs> right? It, it occurs 144 times in the KJV, okay? Isaiah 41 and 14. Fear not, thou worm Jacob. Right, because we're a worm. Okay, I mean, we, we don't have any power. There is no there is no power. We have no power. That's what I meant. Or there is no power of, amongst the so-called black community if we all came together. The only power is in the power of Yah Bashim al -Shah. There is no other power, Okay? We can't come together in unity camps with camps, you know, believing different things. You got Jake with long hair. You got bald heads. You got secret hatred. Okay, you got filthy lucre, insincere, right? No, you can't come together. Like, there is no power and no unity. There is no power in marching like IUIC, putting on the same garment, uh, 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 you know, saying the same thing in unison and in, in, uh, in a cadence. Not in the doctrine, but in the cadence. Okay. Bear with me.
Fear not thou worm Jacob, and you men of Israel. Bear with me. Right, and ye men of Israel. Okay, you men and you two sisters too. But the sisters, they're going to have to be, you know, un the Lord going to link them up with a man. Okay, that's how that's that's how you're going to be saved. I will help thee, see, said the Lord, and thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Yasha'ala. Now, you, we can read more, but that's that's all I needed there. Okay. Bear with me. Right, let's get, let's go to. Right. Second Timothy 1 and 7. For the Most High has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love, right? Love to our brother, love towards the Most High and his son, and of a sound mind. And that's important, of a sound mind, a clear mind, a mind not filled with, you know, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, mix a little bit of uh, Babylon juice in it. And then, you know, put a, a tincture of Buddhism. And, and, and 20 milliliters of some, you know, uh, uh, Christianity. <laughs> now you you drunken off of all type of shit. Now the Lord giving us a clear mind, a sound mind. Let's look at this word sound. Okay. And see, that's what's going to separate, okay, the elect from all the rest of the people. Is that... The elect are going to have a sound, but you're going to, you're going to see it, it, it is, man, it's going to be so, you're going to act, the, the most high is going to actually show who he's working with, okay, because you're going to have Israelites that were teachers, that have been in it for a minute, they're going to be bugging the hell out, okay, Sofo, Sophronismo, Sophronismo, in the Greek. Admonishing or calling to soundness of mind, to moderation and self-control, right? Self-control, discipline, okay, which those are all good, but let me look up, bear with me, I'm going to look it up in a definition, sound, see what we can get. Give me a second. Right. Oh, ooh, there we go. There we go. Had to go down. Had to go down. Had to go down. It says in good, the word sound in good condition, not damaged. Injured or diseased, and that's basically <laughs> that's uh well we I quoted Matthew 24 right and it was 12 that word uh cold the, for the love of many shall wax cold that word is cycles which is mentally unstable you know basically you're crazy okay you're drunken off of these different things okay actual your own actual real drugs but it's really talking about the, the spiritual drugs which are these different philosophies these different mindsets these different uh uh, uh you know so-called ways of life and, and ways of thought, thought patterns, okay, behaviors, conversations, okay, uh, the elect will be, their, their mind, their spirit will be undamaged, it won't be injured, it won't be diseased, and, and this is what these people, their minds are diseased, it's filled with nothing but lies, okay, financially secure, okay, Okay, yeah, so that, that first definition was great, in good condition, so when, so when shit break, so when shit come, you know, really hit the fan here in Babylon the Great, grocery stores are shut down, 
gas stations are shut down. Uh, uh, medical care is, is you know, you can't get medical care. You got to wait fucking weeks. You know, uh, uh, marauders, people killing each other. You got a lot of great happening, a lot of kidnapping, societal breakdown, martial law, troops. What do you? What condition do you think the people's mind going to be in? Take your time, I'm listening. Right? Now, the elect, on the other hand, their mind is going to be in good condition. It's not going to be damaged. Because these people don't have a clue what's going on. Neither do they believe that something of this magnitude can actually happen. And we've been preaching this for years, and our apostles and elders for even longer, and their elders, elders before them. So this is not this is not a new doctrine, okay? But this this doctrine has been going out strong for so many years, and the Lord sped the time up and allowed everybody to hear it via the internet. I mean, how long do you think we're supposed to be doing this? We're supposed to just do this forever. We're supposed to just get old. We're supposed to be 103, 100, 103 years old. We still, you know. Yeah, the most I'm about to take. What's it, it, if that was the case, it, it's still going to happen. But this place is not. Come on, they already boasted in their, in their new, their, uh, their, their NWO. They're already boasting what they, what they getting ready to do. Okay, they saying the time is now. The most High is actually speeding up that time. Okay. So let me read that again. 2 Timothy 1 and 7, For the Most High has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power, and of love, and of a sound mind, an uninjured, undiseased mind, clear-headed mind. Look at this, look at this woman coming out of the grocery store. She got a, 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 a hoodie on with the words Jesus on it. It's a, you know, a black woman. With the words Jesus, and Jesus is played out. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody worshiping Jesus, but you bonehead Negroes, Negroes and Hispanics. You love you some Jesus. Well, see, somebody that loved Jesus so much, and I had to say something. It's, it's, the letter's big as hell. Okay, for somebody that loved Jesus so much, how when when all this shit starts to come down on the earth, where, where, where are they gonna turn? They gonna turn to Jesus? They gonna bow down. All right, they're going to worship the image and take the M-A-R to the K. That's what they're going to do. Okay? Because there is no strength in Jesus. There is no power in Jesus. Okay? Let me, um, I mean, there's more scripture we can go to, but let me go to Revelation 3 and 10. We'll finish there. Unless I have something else. Give me a second. Let me see. I don't think I had anything else. Yeah, that, that's all I wanted to do. I, I, didn't want, I wanted this to be quick. Okay? Revelation 3. In 10, it says, because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. So this thing's getting ready to be, you know, turned up on a different level. And we're getting ready to see great evils befall the people. Okay, and it's going to be a certain spirit that the the, the true men of Yahweh Hashem are going to be in. They, well, A phone call came through, but uh, Lord's Will is still recording. But I'm going to close it there. Until next time, shalom to the left.